I recently found a video on YouTube of a 78-year-old grandmother riding a roller coaster for the first time in her life. Check it out. <laughs> Isn't that great? I love how excited she gets as the coaster picks up speed. If there was ever a picture of pure and unfettered joy, this woman's expression is it. I think this is how it's supposed to look when we experience God's grace and mercy in our own lives. Let me explain. It's so easy to fall into the trap of thinking that you have to do something to get yourself right with God. Since ancient times, mankind has turned to strict moral codes and works to prove their righteousness. But as Paul says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The good news is that we're not without hope. Christ has broken our bondage to sin. Our old nature has been put to death with Christ, and for those who accept his gift of salvation, we are resurrected with him. Realizing that truth should fill us with true joy. Listen to how Paul writes about it in Romans. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Christ has already done the work necessary for our salvation. He has opened the doorway leading back into a right relationship with God. That's the best news we could ever receive. We should be dancing in the streets. Our joy should be overflowing like that grandmother on the roller coaster. And it's that expression of joy that will draw others to our merciful Father who loves us all as his own sons and daughters. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.